Hi there. Today on It Is A Keeper, I'm showing you how to make a scrumptious tropical moonshine. This cocktail recipe is like summer in a mason jar. It's full of tropical flavors like pineapple, orange, and coconut. Like my other moonshine recipes, we're using grain alcohol. So you wanna make sure you enjoy this cocktail responsibly. And if you like this moonshine recipe, make sure you grab a copy of my ebook, How to Make Flavored Moonshines. You'll get 16 flavored moonshine recipes plus 30 plus cocktail recipes that you can make with the moonshine. So let's get started. So let's get started making this tropical moonshine. I just love the flavors of this recipe. It's super simple to make too. So once you make a batch, you'll wanna make more. So it starts with orange juice. That's what's going to add our really good orange flavor. I'm gonna pour about two cups in there, which is just about that bottle. Next, we're gonna add some pineapple juice. So you can see how we're mixing the flavors of these different juices in here. And it's splashing everywhere. So to this, we're really going to start kicking up those tropical flavors. And I have here some cream of coconut. So if you've never used this, it's a really intense coconut flavored, almost like a syrupy paste. So we're just going to pour that, whoops, <laughs> pour or plop <laughs> that right in there. Make sure you spill it all down the front of you when you do it and it's just going to melt nicely into the liquid that's in the pot already. Okay, so next up, just a couple more quick things and then we're gonna get going with that. I have some orange zest. I'm just going to get that going in there. That's really where you get most of the flavor from the orange is in the zest. And then we're going to add a bunch of sugar. This is a very sweet cocktail, so we're just going to put that right in there. And last ingredient is the orange. I just cut up the orange that I zested and we're just going to place those slices right into the mixture. And then we're just going to give everything a good stir. Make sure the sugar's all dissolved and the cream of coconut, there's no lumps of that. And we're just going to let this hang out until it comes to a boil. We're gonna turn it down and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, so our mixture came to a boil. We let it simmer for a while. All those flavors are coming together. That cream of coconut melted. The sugar has dissolved. The orange and the pineapple juices. Everything has come together into one. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. So we just have a couple quick things we're going to add. We need to really let this cool down um, before we add the next couple of things. So I'm gonna set it aside, let it cool completely down, and then we'll get started on the next step. Okay, so we are almost done with this tropical moonshine. I've let it cool for a bit. We're just gonna go in and fish out those orange slices. And if you get any of that zest, you can go ahead and take that out too. I'm not usually too picky about that. If you wanted to strain it, you could. I like to save these pieces of orange too because I'll put them in the jars and let them hang out while the moonshine settles down a bit. Okay, so we took those out. Now we just have a couple more things to put into the moonshine before we're finished. First up, I'm putting in some pineapple syrup. And um, you can get this in bottles. A lot of times they sell it in the dessert aisles. This really just kicks up the pineapple flavor of the moonshine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of that in there. We're not adding that beforehand because we don't want it to evaporate off as it's cooking. Okay, so the last thing we need to put into this tropical moonshine is our grain alcohol. Now, I like to use Everclear grain alcohol. Um, you know, if you can see on here, it's the 190 proof alcohol. So this is seriously strong. 
which is why you don't want your moonshine to be hot at all because you don't want, this is very, very flammable. Um, adding this near a stove, any type of open flame will cause a fire. So you wanna make sure that your moonshine is cool before you do this. Now you can also find Everclear or grain alcohol that isn't 190 proof. Uh, feel free to use that if you can't find the strong one in your state. I know I live in Pennsylvania and we can't get it here, so I have to get it out of state. Um, you can also use other alcohols like vodka. Um, you could even add some Malibu rum. That would be good in this recipe. Uh, but this is what I'm using. It's super strong. We're gonna pour in this entire bottle. And what we're going to do is jar this up and then let it hang out in a cool, dark place for a couple of months for this alcohol to settle down and it turns into the most amazing cocktail when it does that. So, the entire bottle is going in. You can really smell how strong it is as you're pouring it in. Like I said, you don't want any of that alcohol to evaporate off. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a good stir, make sure everything is mixed nicely, and then we're just going to pour it into some mason jars, um, which is how I like to store it. You can put it in any size jar you like. Okay, so I'm just going to ladle our tropical moonshine into some large mason jars, just to make it easier to store it um, for a few months you know, while this settles down going to do this and I'm sure I'm going to make a huge mess because I always make a huge mess when I do this. Oh I can just I can smell the orange and pineapple and a little bit of that alcohol. I fill it almost to the top but not a hundred percent I can it a little bit more. I just fill it right to that lip of the lid. And that is perfect. A funnel really makes this easier. Now if you want, you could take a piece of the orange that we reserve and just float it there in the jar and let it hang out. And that really makes for some more intense orange flavor. And I'm just going to secure the lid tightly and then set this aside and let it cool. So I'm gonna finish filling up all these jars and then we'll go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, so our moonshine is ready. It's time to take a taste. Now I have some that I have made a while ago and it's been sitting in my pantry, just kind of hanging out, getting a little mellow. But we're gonna give it a taste so you can see how awesome this is. Oh, I just love the tropical feel. I feel like I'm at the beach again. The pineapple, the orange, it all just comes out and oh my goodness, does this pack a kick. Want to make sure you definitely enjoy this responsibly and don't drink too much too fast. They have a feeling it's going to make you uh, feel really good. 